What's up everyone, Scott the Chart Hammer here, and we are in Gearheart, Oregon, doing some surf fishing, fishing a spot that I've never fished before. You've been here before? You have? Okay, P PK's been here before, so we're fishing with PK and with Nathan. So, I am pretty much starting from square one with surf fishing. The way surf fishing has gone for me this year, it's been, it's been banging my head against a wall. It's been trying to wring water from a rock. It's just been mind-boggling anger <laughs> inducing frustration fishing for me. So I'm pretty much resetting everything I've been doing. Show you guys what I've changed on my rig. So the Shimano Sienna was an amazing reel for one trip and then it took a salt bath. So I, I, took, the, I took the reel apart I put some real oil in it and I tried to get all the sand out. The reel never recovered. So I went with a Fluger Tryon, a little bit more line capacity. And also I switched to a 30 pound braid instead of the 50 pound braid like I was using before. And the only real difference I've done with my leader is I have doubled the length. I'm going for, I'm going with a, I'm going with an eight foot leader now. Still doing the over under rig with 20 pound floor clear. So yeah, I mean, I'm hopeful, I'm optimistic, you know, I'm hoping this is going to be a good trip because I need to catch some fish, man. It's The tug is my drug, and I'm, I'm, I'm like a junkie going through the draws right now. But besides that, surf's, surf's a little choppy. Not bad, I mean, it's a pretty flat beach. I think it's still fishable. I'm going to finish getting my rig set up, and we're going to get some line in the water. But I think this time, I'm going to go with one of each. I'm going to go with a camo worm. Never mind, I thought I brought my blood worms. I guess I'm just going camo. Either one's good. <laughs> I've had uh, I've had bad luck with seals the last couple times I've gone surf fishing. <laughs> yep, my body knows. Hey, you're about ready to go fishing. You're all suited up and at the spot, and now you've got to pee. <laughs> Not often I go fishing. I have to yield the right away to a vehicle on the beach. <laughs> Oh man, this is a flat beach. Yeah guys, this 30 pound braid casts a lot better than the 50. Should have gone with a smaller diameter a long time ago. Wow. <laughs> Sinking fast. Got a crab walk to stay above the sand. And it's flat. It is not going down very far out there. Yeah. There's a bar right there. And I don't like being in the trough. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go that way. That's probably what I was feeling. Yeah, that bar is not there. No, Mr. Crane! Tell us where the fish are. Got one? Yeah, PK's got one. Is that a silver? Sometimes, I don't know why we call it surf fishing. I think we should just call it walking down the beach with a fishing pole in your hand. You do more of that than actual fishing. I'm just gonna follow that crane. He knows what's up. Well, I just got bit. There we go. That's a fish. Finally.
feels like a pretty good one. Either that or it's foul hooked. No, that's a good one. <laughs> still, still alive. Water skiing on in. Oh yeah, that's a good perch. That is a great perch. Heck yeah guys, that is a keeper for sure. Hey guys, I really can't tell you how great that feels. That is my first keeper while surf fishing in too long. I can't, I can't emphasize that enough, too long. But let's get this back out in the water, see if we get some more. It's like PK and Nathan are way down there. I hope they're doing good. I'll fish this spot for a little bit longer than head down there. See if they found a school. Alright, time to see what PK and Nathan are up to down there. They wouldn't be down there for nothing. Yeah, caught up with them. Nathan got a double. And PK got the one, so we've got four so far. Coming over to the area where Nathan got his double. PK! That's two! Right, right as it hit the water! <laughs> oh boy! Water ski your way in. Come on down. That's ah, a small one. Tiny. Yeah, it's a red tail. That's what we're fishing for, but not big enough. Nowhere near big enough. So we're going to let this one go. Off you go. Yeah, right as it hit the water. Gah. Again, right as it hit the water. Two in a row. Yeah, it's a small one. Ah. Came off. Yeah. Apparently the school's out here. Don't know if I got that. And right now I'm getting that dumb thing that keeps happening where the wind is blowing this way, I'm casting that way, and it's an overhand cast for distance. So by the time I start reeling, all my gear's gone to my right. Huh. So there's a sandbar right here, and those breakers are the trough. 
Okay. The cast is just past that trough. I just let it hang out there as much as it will. And I'm getting bites out there. Yeah, I got a. I had one over here that was too small, threw it back, and immediate cast afterwards had something hit it. It was on for about. Eight. Yeah. They love these. This I don't know what the hell. Should I put just one on? Place whichever one you want. All right. Let's see if it works for you. Yeah, it was. Uh, I just put two of these on, fresh. My line hit, snapped my line. Just now. That's <laughs> my PK's going back. I, I don't have anything on it. Oh. Yeah, line. I it's see. Like, oh, you can replace either one of those you want to. I'll hold them both. Oh, thanks. They took. Uh, I had a fresh one of those on there, the worms. And they snatched that thing, tore it up. Got that double out there in that trough. Just, I mean, as soon as it hit, it was like blow up. <laughs> well, thank you. See that right there, guys. That's why you go surf fishing with a group because you got more people out there, more lines in the water, more eyes in the water. It's just finding the fish faster and easier. You know, you're all here for the same thing. You know, this is probably the roughest surf I've ever fished in, but at least for the last year for me, this has been the most productive surf I've ever I've fished in. There we go. Yep, that is on for sure. Oh, wow. Well, this is another small one that just fights like a giant. This one's got some life to it. Nope, that's a good one. That is a big perch. Oh my god! That is... No! Well guys, I uh... I know it's not very sightly to see, sorry, but I uh, almost lost my fish. This was the only way I could pick it up, but I think that's my new personal best. Oh yeah, guys, you know what? Apparently, that is just what the doctor ordered for me. Go back to, go back to square one, surf fishing. Start all over, rethink everything, because suddenly it's working. Let's get back out there and you know guys i don't even need to weigh that fish i don't even need to measure my fish just familiarity with what i've caught before that is easily my personal best surf perch probably a pound and you know, i'd say a little over one and a third pound my personal best before that was just over a pound that is easily easily topping that <laughs> yeah this one feels bigger <laughs> two big fish and two casts oh my goodness oh thank you lord I've needed this so bad. You have no idea how much I've needed this. And that's another good fish. Yes!
back-to-back -back casts. Big ones. They are out there. It is hot right now. Dude, the one I got before this, new personal best. Probably a pound and a half. Holy cow, look at that, guys. <laughs> look at that. We have found a hot spot. This, this is cool right here. That's the waves. Yeah, as I said before in previous surf fishing videos, guys, when you want to know what's the difference between a bite and a wave, a bite is going to go like that. I mean, they're pretty vicious. They hit and run. So when you feel that like gradual pull, that's a wave. That's the ocean pulling your line away from you. So don't don't get don't get all excited. Don't try to set the hook on that. Just be patient. Got one! Yeah! There, PK's got his second. Yeah, it looks like a silver. Let's see. PK getting it over there. Yeah. Uh, yeah! Good call! Yeah, PK got himself another. Looks like a small one. Yep, threw it back. Yeah, we got sea lions right now. They're staying far enough away. I think they're just letting us know where the fish are. Man, this just feels great, you guys. It's not very often that I feel this good fishing. Seriously. I mean, I, I love fishing. I have fun fishing, period. But, you know, just right now, just fish, fishing into the sunset. New place I've never been. Fishing's been great. Waders fit a little better, you know, been, been getting back into shape and also just, it feels good. It just feels good. It, it feels like this is where I'm supposed to be right now. I took the correct road. You know, even though at this moment I'm not catching fish, I'm catching peace. Yep, that's fish. Wow. Yeah! I'm surprised. I barely even felt that. Oh yeah, that's another keeper. There we go, guys. That's fish number five for me. That's Catch number five, keeper number four. I can already taste the fish tacos. Oh man, guys. Some dang old trout hammer's getting a full bag of surf perch for the first time. <laughs> well, it looks like Nathan's got himself another. All right. I didn't want to run back to the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> it was taken away from my fishing time. All right, guys, daylight is wearing thin can't tell you how much I want to keep fishing. Honestly, the best surf fishing trip I've ever had. I mean, I I couldn't have asked for more. I mean, this is so great. You know, the, the four keepers that I caught, my new personal best in there also, out of five catches. Here's, here's what we got between PK and Nathan. Now seven in there? Yeah, how many did you catch? Four? I think three. Uh, three for three PK? Yeah. Uh, that, yeah, this this has been a long time coming for me. So it's been so long since I've caught a keeper, and it's been so long since I've felt like surf fishing's been a while. Best trip I've ever had. Uh, thank you guys for thank you guys for being out here with me. You know, thank you Nathan. Thanks PK for driving us out here. Yeah. I'll leave a link to PK's channel in the description of the video. Check out his surf fishing videos also if you guys want to learn more and see some other great catches. Uh, if you guys are. If you guys are new to the channel and you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, tips up, tight lines, have fun fishing.